Good morning, it's Monday 19th of October and I'm off for yoga teacher training day 19. Can you hear that sound? It's a pigeon, our little friend who constantly tries to distract us while we're meditating. So rice is still coming up, but we are having, I think this is chapati pancakes and dal with beans and what is this? Red beets. So we usually only eat sattvic food, which means there is just a little bit of salt and maybe mustard seed in it for as a flavor. But the family of the Swami, they like to eat spicy. And these spicy beans are calling my name. They look so delicious and they smell delicious as well. So apart from the pigeon, the morning session wasn't that eventful. I am craving a lot of bad food. So on top of my list is a Yugoslavian, like, cake snack thingy it's called snegulica it's a vanilla cake like cubes dipped in molten chocolate and sprinkled with coconut i would do a lot of mad things <laughs> for snegulica right now also i'm craving mango and sticky rice very very badly i meant to have some when i left kuala lumpur but i forgot and it has been haunting me yeah so this is my drawing of snegulica you can see the coconut sprinkled on top, the chocolate, the cubes, our vanilla cake. I want this right now. <laughs> I even drew it in my textbook because I was like obsessing about it during our lecture and I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna draw it. It's that bad. <laughs> so most people here in Kochi, India, they work for six days and Sunday is their day off. So on Sunday, the Wi-Fi is simply not working because everyone is on it. It's just not happening. And today is Monday, so it should be better, and it is a little bit better, but it's still, like, not happening. I think this evening will be better. I have to get back for the afternoon session, and we're going to learn the spiritual meanings of the yoga postures, which sounds like fun, but you never know. And one thing, I have to confess that sometimes... I'm so sleepy because it's so warm and like now if I weren't able to take a nap and the teacher keeps talking, it's very interesting but it's just like my body starts winning. This helps. So this is a white ointment tiger balm. If you just rub it at the tip of your nose, you will wake up immediately. So for some of you, maybe you need to stay awake. Uh, for some reason you need to learn or uh, you need to finish a presentation or something like that This is your solution. <laughs> no, but you said you, uh, you, don't, you can't explain the red and I said of course you can oh. uh, 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 uh oh, Saji is disturbing like someone. Tell me, I don't know what is red. No, you, uh, <laughs> explain it. Explain it. What is it's light in the wavelength of 600 nanometers <laughs> <For example. laughs> Wow. I mean, my, that's my view. But I don't see it. What is it? Saji, our yoga teacher, he's just like the master in Karate Kid, Mr. Miyagi. He will make you do things that makes you think, like, why am I doing this? <laughs> so, uh, complete useless arguments. Light in your body and you will die? Or you're cold in your body and you will live? No. Same experience. So throw the ego out. Take the truth. What is it? Okay. It's like one time he will say, oh, red is awesome, and then you say like, no, red is not awesome, and then he will say, yes, yes, red is awesome, and then you finally agree, okay, red is awesome. What are you talking about? Red does not exist. And it's like all the time, round and round. The challenge is like to keep your zen on, and through the arguments you learn how to control your body, your physical reactions in an argument. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Just in so Luna is teaching today and one of the hardest things during a yoga class is keeping count in sun salutations. Yeah, I know, it sounds weird, but like keeping track of inhale, exhale, left leg forward, right leg forward, blah, it's just like the hardest thing, but she did really well. Exhale, knee, chest, forehead down, come forward, stretch back, arch back, foot side on the ground. Exhale, hip up, like you touch the heels on the head on the ground. Inhale, right leg back, right leg up front. Exhale, other leg back, in front, sorry. And 
is pitched back out by Tony Chen on the front. Oops. Come on there. <laughs> Advance <laughs> with the smile. <laughs> it looks so easy. <laughs> it looks so easy. Yeah. But I'm barely here. And so after I two weeks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good. Yeah, I'm not, like used to but it's alright. I don't. It's not an annoying thing. No. It's right. Just stretching. Wow. How do wow. you feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> Comfortable? It's alright. It's, it's alright. Right. No? Yeah. You can I think sleep. I can go more up. <laughs> but I don't know where to go. So for me, it's like. What? Like, I think just breathe, like it's gonna open slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so after conquering headstand, which I had been practicing for a year, like doing yoga once a week and trying to headstand. And here I managed to do it by myself within 10 days. Of course we do six hours of yoga every day, so three hours in the morning, three hours in the evening, but it's still really fast. So now I'm trying to conquer scorpion. The ultimate relaxation with Luna. This is dinner, we have rice, we have chapatis, we have, what is this? Oh, the mango pickle? Yes, beans, red beets, delicious. The other side going to a music concert, which sounds really cool, but I'm so tired and I have to wake up at 5.15 a.m. tomorrow morning again. So I'm just going back to my room and edit the video and go to sleep. <laughs> this was my first English vlog, a typical day in yoga teacher training. I hope you enjoy. If that's the case, please put a thumbs up. I'm actually also going to make an English version when I have a day off because then I go exploring around Kochi and I think that's a lot more adventurous than just doing yoga. Although yoga can be very adventurous as well. Um, yeah. And we are doing a headstand. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe and then I will see you next time. Bye!